So, what we got going on today, we're going to do a lift pump replacement on the old 12 valve Cummins. And we're going to do it through the wheel well. So, first step, we're going to get this heavy tire off. If you don't have one of these, I recommend getting one. It's just a DeWalt half inch impact. It just makes your life a lot easier. Next step, inner fender. Okay, so we got the rubber elbow hose off up in here, and then that steel line, which is a 14. Yeah, this rubber elbow hose, and then this steel line back here, which is a 14, and then the two 10s. And this guy just comes right out, you know. Only took a little bit of convincing. But yeah, that's it. Now we're gonna clean up that gasket surface under there and get the new one in. So we got the new lift pump installed. You know, the only shiny thing in there. Yeah, that guy right there. We got the hose on. We got, put a new fill, fuel filter on it while we're in there. Yeah, we're gonna start it up. Also, another thing is, I got a um, fuel gauge hooked up to it. I just wanna make sure it's within specifications. And I actually have one of those adjustable like fuel pressure regulators in there. It's like a torque tech one. So yeah, cause you, I think you want it at like 40 PSI at two grand, but here it goes. Yep, right at 40 at two grand. We're good. Yeah, that's it. And hopefully no leaks yet. <laughs> yeah, we got a little bit of a mess to clean up here on the driveway. <laughs> yeah, looks pretty dry still. Okay, now just gotta get the inner fender back in. Tire, we're good to go on test drive. 